Hey guys, um, I've actually got kind of a lot of questions with this, especially from one of my friends at work. Um, and it's how to fill in eyebrows the right way. Now there's several different methods you can do. I mean, I've seen people do it with gel liner. I don't know, I've seen some people do it. I don't really like it because to me, obviously it looks fake and drawn on. But the best way I know how to do it, and I try several different ways. Um, eyeshadow just regular powdered eyeshadow I think I find that looks more natural and like very soft so it kind of easier to blend and create better looks with it um, brow tint which I do not really like um, this was by Maybelline so it's not really a good quality one at least I don't find and then there's pencil this is a regular pencil I brought pencil this is a light color I did it for a tutorial but I had to like literally just white out my eyebrows um, I like this one this is my my next favorite besides eyeshadow is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz pencil and mine is in soft brown it's a little retractable so I like that you don't really have to sharpen it but the general side with pencil is it can be a little too sharp that's why this one comes in with its own spoolie to kind of lighten it. So I will do this one and also some eyeshadow to show you the difference between the two. Now if you're going to do eyeshadow, the best thing is to have angled brushes of different sizes. And I will be using the NYX um, Wicked Dreams palette. It's got like 27 eyeshadow, I mean 24 eyeshadows in here. And I will be mixing these two right here. These, I tap twice in here, then twice in the light, and it actually gives me the right color. So, of course, tap off your excess. I start at the bottom and lightly start filling it in. making very small motions. You don't want to go with a heavy hand when you do eyebrows. And then the tail. As I love to start from the bottom, just fill in and go up very lightly. Because I kind of do it this way. And then use the tail, the point up here to start bringing the tail down. I like doing powder better than pencil because it it just looks better and looks more natural. So especially if you want to exaggerate, like if you got really thin brows and you want to thicken them up, powder doing the right color powder will blend in the hairs that you actually have. And if you do it in small strokes to where it creates like more hairs, like if you use a really teeny tiny little brush like this and just start kind of doing individual like little hairs or something it, it's faster than it sounds if you think you're just doing so if you're doing it like this it's it's gonna go quickly you can actually exaggerate your brows and make them look really good and no one would know unless they maybe got like this close to your face the only thing I hate is you just can't do this and I don't like not doing that because I'm actually lose a lot of my stuff that way you just Turn it up, and I do the same. I go up, then down, just in fainter strokes. And to me, this takes a lot longer. And you have to be really careful. It also helps if you put your finger on your pinky on your cheek to steady your hand because I don't really have a good steady hand for this. So, see, like, to me, this one looks a little harsher than this one. So, I'm going to track that back, put that on, and go to the spoolie. It's a weird word, spoolie. Just 
brush them the same way that you did the strokes to soften them. Okay. And to set them, you can, well, if you're using a brow tint, you really don't have to do the step, but, um, because it's already going to be locked in place. But if you do a pencil or something and you want them to stay, because we all know the little hairs can go wonky at times, there's clear brow gel. Now, obviously, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills because this is the only one I've ever found, like, in forever. But, um, I do hear Maybelline makes one. I don't know if I want to try it because I've been so used to this one. I don't know if I want to give it up. Mm. Don't know. I can't give you up. But they actually have a colored one. This is... I actually have like colored ones, but um, I just got the clear because sometimes, like I say, I have to change the color of my eyebrows depending on the look, and I don't think I would be able to do it with the other ones. But uh, I brush them same way I want them to go. Like I said, I don't have a brow no, liquid brow tube tint like um, NYX has. But I will get that, and I will totally do a review on it. But, um, yeah. Let that dry a little bit. I kind of I kind of fanned it to kind of get a look going. And then, of course, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put a highlighter. This is actually an eyeshadow base by NYX. And this is, um, eyeshadow base with Pearl. This is, um, ESBO2. I actually use it as the cream highlight because I don't like the way it looks as a base. I'd rather the jumbo pencils for that. But um, kind of get that in there, a little highlight, so you can see what the kind of difference the stuff makes. I'm sorry, you can hear the thunder. Once again, it's raining. I hope it doesn't have to rain too much because I could have go to work tomorrow. Should have done this earlier, but um, you can see. I know it's kind of shiny, but I normally always put like a shiny highlight. If I don't like it, sometimes I put a white one under it, but um, just what it looks like with a highlight so you can kind of get a feel of that. Yes, this is how I do it, and there, this is the ways I like, and I think look more natural. I feel it's best to go natural with your brows, otherwise, it looks scary when you like see people eyebrows drawn on because it's always like, whoa! I'm like, okay, your eyebrows should not be that high or look that surprised. But yes, this is what I do so it's really quick and simple just follow your shape and especially now there is some kind of a modern rule I was gonna say especially if you get the right color there is a modern rule though before it was just to match a color and I still feel that it's best to match a color because it's easier when you want to create different looks with your eyebrows like if you want to block these out and go for some Vulcan eyebrows or things like that yeah the modern tip is um, if you have a light hair, go two shades darker. If you have dark hair, go two shades lighter. But um, to me, you can see the darkness of your eyebrows compared to the powder or pencil you use or whatever you use. You can just see the difference and I think that's ugly. I would say if you're light, go with light. If you're dark, go with the dark. Um, Kind of, you know, embrace it really. But yes, this is how it is. And like, the, I can't do the one eyebrow raise, or else I would have done it because it'll probably look cool like this. Dang it. My more skills suck on that. So, this is all you can get some little action right there. But yes. And once again, when I get the next one, I think I might go next week. Well, if I have a little extra cash and go purchase a couple of tubes and see how they work. So look, so look for that review guys. So, bye.